And at the end of days, the first sign shall appear in the heavens. Justice shall fall upon the world of men. The armies of light and shadow will clash across the fields of eternity. We should be getting you home. But there's still work to be done. If these translations are correct, <laughs> the powers of hell could already be on the move. The world must be told of the coming darkness. You do believe me. Don't you, Leah? It has begun. Leave it, Uncle. It's not important. At twelve, I swore the oath, leaving home and family. At sixteen, I saw my master die. I took up his shield and his name, and on that day, I became a crusader. Armored by faith, driven by duty, bound to kill the enemies of Zakarum. Sworn to live as a crusader and to die as one. Now, corruption returns to the hearts of men. I see it in the eyes of the mad. Hear it in the howling of the damned. A falling star in the west leads me to the town of New Tristram. The crusade calls me. And so, I go.
The fallen star is close, but there is death here too. Stops the crusade. Greetings. I am a crusader of the Zakarum faith, and I saw a star falling on this town. It fell on the old cathedral. There was only one survivor, Leah. You should speak with her. Captain Rumford, more dead are coming. We can't open the gates until we drive them back. They keep coming! I require more rack. I've never seen anyone fight like that before. Guards, open the gates! You'll find Leah at the Slaughtered Calf Inn. Burn those corpses before they rise again. Zakarum has fallen to disgrace. What I mean? promised Marco I'd protect him, and now he's dead. Are you Leah? They tell me you survived the Falling Star. I did, but it blasted my uncle Deckard Kane into the depths of the old cathedral. I tried to search for him, but the dead were already rising. I came back here to rally the militia, but th Watch out! The wounded are turning! This is killing business. The dead will overwhelm us all, unless something is done. Something like putting the dead back to sleep? I can do that. Thank you. You should speak with Captain Rumford at the gate. He can tell you what to do. We've been under siege for six days now. Uncle Deckard is still missing. Captain Rumford and the others are losing hope. I tell them not to lose faith, but if help doesn't arrive soon... Please move your cart. How dare you speak to me like that? I am the mayor of this town. Lord Mayor, please move your cart. Are you mad? This town is doomed. Anyone with a grain of sense should be trying to get out. Will you help me or not? Fleeing will not save your life, and certainly not your town. Don't you dare lift a finger to help our mayor fix his wagon. My brother died defending this town, while that bloated coward tried to run away. Sixteen militiamen went out. Only Rumford came back. I've come to help. How do we stop these risen dead? I admire your courage, but Captain Dalton and the militia were slaughtered by those things. Only I survived. Have faith, Captain. Have faith. Well, I have seen you fight. Strike at the wretched mothers and their queen. They're the ones vomiting out these horrors. They're attacking the barricades! That's one of the wretched mothers. There are more of them in the ruins down the road. I, Deckard Kane, have spent many years traveling and writing about the strange creatures in our world. But the sight of the wretched mothers still haunts me. They are the remnants of Queen Asilla's slaughtered handmaidens who were twisted by foul magic. Now they feast upon cadavers and regurgitate them as newly formed, risen dead. Rat be praised. Uh. 
I will never forget the first time I saw these horrors shambling out of the misty woods. Our loved ones, buried long ago, rose from their graves and began to attack the living. However, the risen dead were only the beginning. A foe worth killing. Not enough wrath. I am Abdalhazir, adventurer, scholar, and researcher. I share my knowledge of this incredible world and its creatures through my insightful missives, often at grave risk to myself. Why, I was recently in Kanduras, where my tents were ransacked by vicious quill fiends. I was able to beat them off with a shoe, but a less bold man would have fared far worse. I'm healed. My wrath is low. I returned to Kanduras after twenty years, the burden of countless failures and tragedies heaped upon my shoulders. Am I being punished for helping that stranger hunt the Dark Wanderer? I always thought Deckard Cain half a madman, but perhaps he was right. Perhaps he can banish the shadow hanging over my life. Not enough wrath. Stops the crusade.
I require more wrath. While exploring a cave, with hopes of finding hidden treasure, I came upon a most grisly sight. A heap of dead bodies. Unbelievably, as I was searching them for any items of value, they began to rise. I must tell them of this and new Tristram before it's too late. My wrath is low. Mother dead. That should slow the attacks. Require more wrath. Tristram. Diablo himself was here. I will enjoy this. My wrath is low.
Not enough wrath. I can no longer deny the true nature of the evil that rises from the depths of the cathedral. It is almost too horrible to admit the truth of it. It is the Dark Lord of Terror, Diablo himself, who plagues us. Thank you for your help, but could you talk some sense into Leah? She won't give up on the idea of rescuing her uncle. She's brave. With help, she may yet save Cain. I love it! Leah, let's find your uncle. We'll need to open the cathedral first. The guards locked it up before they were ambushed. Rumford told me they fought their way back to Adria's hut. The key must still be there. Here, let me open the gate. Adria was my mother, but I don't know much about her. She died when I was very young. I was raised by Uncle Decker. And your father? I'm told he was a great warrior. He was lost when Tristram fell to the demons. My faith is rewarded. Cellar. Follow me. There are dark secrets here. People said she was a witch, but I never believed it. My wrath is low. Feels better. Here's the key and my mother's journal. What I've seen of it is disturbing. I want to know more about her, but that can wait. We need to save Uncle Deckard first. I will go. Stay here and learn what you can. Thank you. Aiden came to me last night. I suspected what was lurking within his troubled heart. I consoled him as best I could. Regardless, wherever he's headed, hell will surely follow in his wake. The shadows close in on Tristram once again. But like Aiden, I'll be gone before they fall. Not enough wrath.
fight is over for this one. Tristram Cathedral. The fallen star lies within. Star is close. That creature must die. I require more wrath. Blessings of the light. Grotesques may seem slow and senseless, but they hide many dangers within their hideously malformed bodies. A set of spikes lurks beneath the monster's flesh, and foul parasites nest within them. It is said that these horrors themselves are constructed by a greater evil, a darkness that I cannot even fathom. Some foul new disease has taken hold in this land, and the carrion bats are near the heart of it. Since returning to Tristram, I have seen their numbers surge. The evil forces that linger here give them strength, and I fear that the worst is yet to come.
My wrath is low. Hmm. Huh. Impressive mushrooms. Thought we could keep the dead trapped here. Akarat, save me. Akarat hears you, friend. I require more rat. Lactanum, and I'm cursed. Once the captain of King Leoric's army, I left only to honor my land and my king. 
No man has a greater love for his king than I had for mine, even as I drove my blade through his dark and corrupted heart. Not enough wrath. Oh, minions, stay back! Back! May this wedge hold. The Skeleton King? The power of the Fallen Star awakened me, and soon all will suffer as I have suffered. Gods, bring me his bones! Patience. Thank you, but why did you risk yourself for me? Your niece asked me to find you, and I agreed. Oh, it is wonderful to hear that Leah is well. I feared the worst. 
I learned of this secret passage through old maps I found. We must discuss the fallen star. Follow me to Tristram. I rescued the old scholar and learned from him that a creature called the Skeleton King stands between me and the star. But not for long. Uncle, you're alive! Thanks to you and your friend here. It was my duty to help. Now, I would know of the falling star. The prophecy of the end days surely points to it as a sign that the end has begun. Please, Uncle, not more of your stories. All that matters now is that you're back. Blessings of the light! The Skeleton King was once our beloved lord, Leoric. He was driven mad by Diablo's evil. He lost both of his sons and his very soul before he was finally defeated. Now it seems he's risen to plague this land once again. Then I will be the cure. The key to defeating him lies in his old crown. Seek out our blacksmith, Hadrig. He knows of its whereabouts. Leah, you got a right good bunch of things for you this fine day. From the east shall come a monarch whose rule begins in... I have some new items that I'm certain you'll love. Each of my items is very special to me, but I suppose I can sell you one or two things if I must. Leah spent all night alongside the blacksmith's wife, tending the wounded. What? She was out defending the gates this morning. Did you hear? Old Rumford has us down to half rations. Are you Hadrig? Deckard Kane said you could help me find the crown of Leoric. Not now. It's my wife. She's locked in the cellar like all those who've been bitten. I'm to put them all down. But how can I kill my own wife? It is a hard burden you bear. I will help. Thank you. Follow me. Look, I'm happy to sell to you. But you've got to promise not to tell anyone where you got these goods from, okay? Sorry. Do your duty, Blacksmith, no matter how hard.
I couldn't have done this without you. I'm in your debt. My name is Hedrig Eamon. You owe me nothing, friend. But I would welcome your aid in my quest to find the crown of Leoric. I can help you there. It's buried with his chancellor, my grandfather. You'll find his tomb in a cemetery in the Weeping Hollow. And if you see my fool apprentice out there, tell him to get back to town. Like chaff before the wind. Scavengers are ugly, pathetic creatures who survive off of carrion and corpses, too diseased to attract any other carnivores. I did once meet a raggedy fellow who claimed that he had trained one of the beasts to bring him large rats to eat. But I'm sure the story is utter nonsense. Not yet. Not ready yet. During the last days of King Leoric's reign, even the skeletons of the ancient dead could not rest. They took up their broken armor and weapons once more, ready to cut down anything that yet drew breath. Though wasted and fragile, these creatures possess a twisted cleverness that makes them quite formidable. Crusade marches on!
Yes! before Zakarum. Crusade marches on! <laughs> <laughs> 